What's up, YouTube? I wanted to uh, show my uh, other um, Equito, I believe, sub locale Peruvian pure red tail bow constrictor. Um, this is the other one that I have. Um, I have a conf confession to make. When I purchased these, the male and female from the gentleman down in Texas, I was told that this was the male that I'm holding and the other one was the female. I should just finally decided to uh, do a, a formal probing assessment and this in fact is the female. The other one is the male. I had suspected uh, based on their physical exam without outside of the probing that this may in fact have been the uh, female and the other one was the male simply because this one does not have those cloacal spurs and the other one that I had in my other video had remarkably large spurs um, and uh, the tail the length of the tail as some people say that in bow, male bow constrictors the, the tail is longer and uh, has a does not have a quick taper it wasn't applicable in, in these two snakes so I saw outside of the uh, cloacal spurs, you couldn't really tell if it was a male or female simply by the external physical assessment. But after I probed these snakes, this is certainly, <laughs> without a doubt, the female. So this is the female. In my other, my other video, that in fact is the male. But it's hard to refer her as a she, refer to this one as a she now. I'm so used to referring to him as a male, but she is about 14 pounds, a little over 7 feet long, strong as an ox. As you can see, beautiful dorsal color, ventral color with a black speckled pattern. Beautiful head. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Good eater. Will easily take two jumbo rats every two weeks. I have not fed her rabbits, but she easily um, would not be surprised if she takes rabbits. Um, not finicky when she eats. Has never refused a meal. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the female. So hope you've enjoyed it. And I do plan to breed the female with my uh, male. And uh, sometime later this year, well, not this year, but early next year and uh, it should be great. We should have some really nice babies. I also have a sun glow boa that is not yet of of size, not yet size, but uh, I do plan to uh, breed her to the Peruvian male. I mean that should produce some remarkable colors. I've never seen a uh, sun glow bred to a pure red tailed Peruvian and that should be interesting the color pattern to say the least so all right so hope you guys have enjoyed the video and uh stay tuned for some more and uh i do have some other snakes in my collection that i have not introduced or discussed about uh but we'll get to those soon enough thank you